This video is to provide a basic demonstration of how CAD layout data can be used to create a circuit board test in Huntron Workstation. The first step is to create and save a new board database file. Next, you select Import from the File menu to start the import process. You can import an existing Huntron ASCII format or half file or start the process to create a new one. The Half Assist and CamCAD Pro applications are opened. Half Assist is used to help navigate CamCAD through the import process. You first select a CAD import format and file to open in CamCAD. Many CAD layout formats are supported, but in this case, we will be selecting a PADS PowerPCB file. The CAD layout file is imported and displayed in CamCAD Pro. The next step is to remove unneeded text and graphics using Clean Display. Note that the CAD layout view has been simplified. We now select the alignment points for the top and bottom sides of the circuit board. These alignment points are used with the Huntron Access Probers. Entities such as vias and component pads work well as alignment points. Two points are selected for each side of the circuit board. The CamCAD Zoom Select tool allows us a closer view of the PCB. In CamCAD, the entire component is selected when clicking on a pin. To select or drill down to the pin, you press F4 on the keyboard. The first top side alignment point is set and we move on to selecting the second point. Once the second top side alignment point is set, we can flip the board to begin the bottom side alignment point selection. Selecting the bottom side alignment points uses the same steps as the top side process. Once the alignment points are selected and set, we can move on to the next step. Steps for more advanced processing are enabled at this time, but for this demonstration we will move directly to exporting the half file. More information on advanced processing is available on the Huntron website by downloading the CAD import tutorial. We next select export half file and save it to a location on the PC. Now we save the CAMCAD or CC file to a location on the PC. We now exit Half Assist and CamCAD Pro and proceed with the import process. Browse to the location where the half file was saved and open it. Next, you browse to the CamCAD file saved earlier and open it. The next step will execute a pre-scan of the half file verifying the file syntax. During this process, you have options available for use with the Access DH dual head prober. A component or net-based test can be created. In this example, component is selected. PCB panel and prober slot level are selected. In this case, 
we have selected the middle prober slot for mounting the circuit board. You can allow for use of board spacers mounted on the prober walls. The last step in the import is to process the data and create the test in workstation. We now exit half import and return to Huntron Workstation. Using the CAD data, we now have a test created in Huntron Workstation. Sequences have been added for the top and bottom sides of the circuit board. You can view the CAD layout and view PCB in the image pane. Selecting the top side sequence, we have some final steps to complete before the test can be used. With the PCB mounted in the prober, we perform the alignment using the points selected in CAMCAD. You can navigate the prober camera by clicking in the camera view. The prober camera crosshairs are placed on each of the alignment points and set. Alignment point number one is set. We navigate to alignment point number two and click set. By switching to teach mode, we can verify that the component pin positions are correct. When using CAD data for test creation, the pad center is where the probe will be placed, although additional processing tools in CAMCAD make it possible to offset the pad test positions. If the component positions look good, then we perform a realign. Realign saves the current position of the circuit board permanently to the software. At this time, you can also select more suitable alignment points such as PCB fiducial marks. In this demonstration, we will move the alignment points to crosshair fiducial marks located in opposite corners of the circuit board. The new alignment point number one is located and set. Then we navigate across the board to the new alignment point number two. You can micro step the crosshairs into position and set the points. Finally, you save the new alignment points. Right-click on the View PCB image and select Refresh to update the view with the new alignment points shown. This test can be used once the teach height process is performed. You can learn more about teach height and test execution by viewing other Huntron Workstation videos on the Huntron Tech Support YouTube channel. For more detailed information on this process, Download the CAD import and other tutorials from the Huntron training webpage at Huntron.com. Thank you for watching.